Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, in this video, uh, we are we are performing a lab, and before we talk about the steps or the task that we are going to perform, let's try to understand a few things. Like Kubernetes is a distributed system with many working parts, right? We we have. Uh, done a lot of lab on that on that it's a distributed system and there are many working parts even the entire kubernetes series right and aks abstracts uh most of it for you but uh it is still your responsibility to know where to look and how to respond when bad things happen that ought to be right much of the failure handling is done automatically by Kubernetes. Remember, it's an orchestrator. Uh, however, you will encounter situations where manual interventions are required. Uh, usually there are like two kinds of things that goes wrong with this kind of system. Uh, that is uh, either the cluster itself has issues or the application deployed on the top of the cluster has the issue. So, you know, both has a different approach. So the first thing that can go wrong is a node in the cluster can become unavailable. And now you must have an idea what kind of lab it's going to be. So this can happen either due to Azure infrastructure outage or due to an issue with the virtual machine itself, such as an OS crash and things like that. Either way, Kubernetes monitors the cluster for node failures and will recover automatically. This is what we're going to see in this lab. We'll have more than one node this time. Uh, we are not saving money by not creating many nodes. We have to have two nodes to perform this lab. We will, the second step is we will going to run our voting app uh, and then we'll see on which nodes these pods are running. And then we will go to the VMSS and remove the maximum hosting pod that node and then we'll watch how pods are recreating on the other node right and if needed or if not needed with uh, whether it's manual or auto scale you can put that concept here as well for example if it is a manual scale then of course if one node is gone it would remain one. For example, we created two nodes and one we deleted to perform this lab, then we're gonna have single node. Uh, it will not automatically uh, spin up the new machine, right? The second thing, if it is auto scale, like minimum node one and maximum is two, and you remove one of the node or delete one of the node to perform this lab, or something happens, let's suppose in the in the production or in the development, let's not say production, in the development the AKS cluster of yours. So until pod need more resource, it wouldn't spin up the another node. Okay, so hope uh, we are clear uh, with the task that we are going to perform. Very simple, we are going to create two, uh, two node cluster I already have, I'll, I'll walk you through the infrastructure, then we'll run the voting app, we'll see where these are running, we'll delete the uh, maximum running pod uh, node, and then we'll watch it and we'll see how things happen. Or we'll also go ahead and try to browse the voting app, meanwhile, and see how it reacts as well. So stay with me, let me share my screen and take you through the process. All right, so <clears throat> this is uh, AKS cluster I have, uh, click on Kubernetes. The same cluster that you have seen in the previous labs, nothing much. The only thing this time is I have more than one node. You can see two nodes. Uh, just to be, just to show you, I have manual scaling, 
we, you can do, you can perform your lab with the auto scaling as well. But here the count is two, right? And uh, here I have this shell running where I'm, I have the credentials and everything is like easy AKS get credentials. It is there so that if I'll run kubectl get nodes, it will respond. Come on. And as soon as I have the information of node, there it is. I have two nodes, one and three. If you go with the number one, number three, that's how you can differentiate rest all is same. One and three are two nodes running for, on this cube, uh, on this uh, AKS as a node pool. And if I do get ports, I should not have any. There we go. And let me quickly get into that folder. Okay, I'm already here. Cube CDL apply. We're going to apply this YAML file. Okay. And now it will create some port. I have changed if I show you. YAML file, I have uh, five front pod, five replicas for the front and five replicas for the back. The, this is the change that I have done. The rest, all the infrastructure is same. And uh, let me clear this and do cube CTL get pods O wide and you'll see these are running on both the ports. All, all these are running, all the ports are running in uh, both the nodes, node one or node two, number one or number three, we can see from here. Few are still running, that's fine. Let me go ahead and do kubectl get service so that we can try to browse our voting app and see if it is working. Hopefully it should. It says internal server and let me refresh it. Still getting the same thing. Give it a minute. And meanwhile, let me do kubectl uh, get pods and see if all the pods are created. Yes, we got five back and five front, front 10 pods running. Now even kubectl get deployment. Uh, should not have anything else running cool and kubectl get service. I need to check if I have the right IP address. Dot seven seven twenty two hundred one hundred five dot seven seven. It is cool. It's still not working. That's strange. Oh, there we go. It's working. It takes uh, one or two seconds and it's again gone. That's strange. Okay, now it is working, cat one, dog one. We have this uh, application running here. So uh, let's come here, clear it out. Now, what we need to do, okay. We need to check this first, kubectl, ctl get pods o wide. Right, so we have maximum pod running on three, zero, three, three or three, six. You can see most of the ports are running on three. So let's uh, mess with three, okay? So let me come here to the resource group, find the VMSS and delete this zero, three node and see how how Kubernetes manage this failure. That's the learning for this lab, how Kubernetes is managing this failure. It's not like nobody is calling you in night or you know 3 a.m. in the morning, something happens with the application. So this is the beauty of using these kind of systems. Kubernetes will take care of this thing. So I have clicked on delete and it's deleting right now. And I hope, yeah, zero three. Now let me go ahead. Now let me do kubectl get pods. Oh, sorry, I need to put it on watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did a space watch. 
Now, <clears throat> right now, uh, it's not deleted yet, or we do not get the information right here. That's why. Uh, now we can simply uh, watch and see there must be pod who is running on three is getting uh, terminated and then created on the new node. And as I already explained, no new node is going to spin up for you. All these pods will be catered by the single node. Okay, and we have manual uh, scaling. So even if resource needed, more resource needed, it would not going to spin another node. For that, we're gonna have the auto scaling. Okay. Uh, it's it's meanwhile i can also check if i do o wide i should have another window and we'll be running these two simultaneously that would be fun uh let it come let it come and meanwhile let me run this one here now we can see uh you see these pods are terminating q4 and if you see these eight nine if you follow this eight nine pending then eight nine container creating and eight nine running so pod got recreated that's the important part it's not like uh, uh, Kubernetes switches the uh, node for the pod like it will not move the pod it will recreate it right uh, but the best thing is it would not have any impact if you have more than one node and the resource need is not that much right and if i go here on the other page where we were running a wide we can simply see all must be getting recreating on uh zero one terminating from zero three running on zero one zero one zero one zero one zero three all terminating so that was the uh, very small lab and this is just to appreciate the uh, proactiveness of kubernetes uh, so thank you for watching and you have a good day let's meet in another video bye bye